In this problem, we have to integrate the sine squared of 15x. So whenever you have an even power of sine or cosine, you can use the following identities. So the one we'll use in this problem is sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. The other identity that's really useful, just for general knowledge, is cosine squared x. And this one is the same, except it has a plus. So 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. The way I memorize it is that cosine has the plus. So I memorize this one first. And then I know that sine has the minus. OK, so in this problem, we're replacing x with 15x. So let me just do it over here so you see it. So sine squared of 15x using the formula will be equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 times 15x over 2. Just replacing the x with a 15x. And that's going to give us 1 minus cosine of 30x, all divided by 2. So let's go ahead and rewrite our integral using what we've done. So this is going to be equal to the integral of 1 minus cosine of 30x all divided by 2, and then we have our dx here. Then we can break this up into 1 over 2 minus cosine 30x over 2. We just break it up into two fractions, and then we have our dx. Now we can break this up into two separate integrals. So the first one, I'll pull out the 1 half, so it'll be 1 half times the integral of 1 dx minus 1 half times the integral of cosine of 30x dx. When you integrate 1, you just get x. So this is 1 half x minus 1 half. And we're integrating cosine. So when you integrate cosine, you have to think backwards. Well, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. This will be sine of 30x. And the trick is you just divide by the 30. Whenever you have something like this with a sine or a cosine and a number times x, you simply integrate the trig function and then just divide by the number. You could show the work here, by the way. It just requires a u substitution. You would let u equal 30x and go from there. Typically, though, uh, we don't spend time with uh, stuff like that. Just It comes up too often, so it's just better to just divide and skip the steps. So this is 1 half x minus 1 60th sine 3x. And then at the very end, we have our constant of integration, capital C. So that would be the final answer. Not really a super tough problem. Um, I think it's a good question. It's simple. Um, you know, it's just sine, cosine squared is exactly the same, except you would use you would use this identity instead. So I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.